Okay, so I promised in my last video and to a bunch of people that I would make a video on how to Frankenstein together two different models. So we're going to do that really quickly. What you need to do is first import your base model. Typically, once people start using a model in VRChat, they keep a head that they like to use. Even the hairstyle can change, the clothing style can change, but the one thing they want to stay consistent is their face. And that's true in real life and it's true in VRChat as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this character into a panda onesie. It's not too hard to do. Essentially what you want to do is you want to import your model and do all the things that you would normally do to it. You want to create um, visemes and you want to create the eye tracking on the head parts. So those things are pretty important. The one thing you don't want to do is actually generate the material list for the model yet. Because what we want to do is we want to delete all the parts that we're not going to be using. One of the best ways to do this is to separate the model by materials like this. You want to leave those materials separated so that you can select individual materials and remove the parts of the model that you don't need. For this particular use, we want to select the ones that aren't going to be part of the panda onesie. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete the, um, the larger selected ones here. Now what you can do is you can click around inside Blender and you can right click and you can press delete to delete those parts. Again, we're going to select the materials and press delete. Now you'll notice what we're left with is a head, a little bit of the neck and the hair. That's perfect because that's exactly what we want. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to import the second model. This is our panda onesie. And we're going to click fix model. It's very important that you click fix model on both models before you do it. It's also good to translate the model as well. So you'll notice that the panda onesie is a bit big right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our panda onesie and we're going to click on the mesh part. And all we're going to do is scale the mesh. We're not going to scale the armature, just the mesh. Now to scale, it's really easy. You just use the S key on your keyboard and you can drag down the model to match. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that this roughly matches the model that's there. Now you'll notice that it's not going to be perfect, but essentially you want to first start by lining up the armature. Um, that will get it roughly where it needs to be. Um, not quite. So in this case, it's going to be a little bit of both. So we're going to scale it to be a little bit larger. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to stretch it in various directions. So we can press S again to scale and we can press X to scale it along the X axis. You'll notice here that there's a red line at the bottom of the screen, which shows that I'm scaling it along X. So if I press S and then X, I can stretch it out and make her a little bit wider like that. Now we also need to scale it back. Obviously the hair might not even be part of this. We're going to cut some of that out. So again, S, X, or S, or hit escape, S, Y, along the Y axis to make it a little bit wider this way to match the proportions of this model. This model has a larger head, so we need to make sure that all of that is correct. Right now she doesn't have much of a neck, so we need to make sure that we bring all of this down a little bit. So again, we're going to press X, scale it. We're getting pretty close now to this looking correct. We can do this again, S. Again, just adjust whatever it is you want to attach and make sure that it seems correct or looks correct visually to you. This process can take some time. Don't be discouraged. It can take a while to do. The next few things we want to do is obviously her hair is going to be inside this panda onesie. So we want to make sure that it gets stuck inside and not on the outside. Now, the thing is, you want to make sure that you always bring the smaller model into the larger model. So the next thing we need to do is to make sure that we scale the whole thing up. So we're going to select the armature and the body here. And we're going to press A, A to scale. And we're going to scale the whole model, including her armature, into the other armature. We're going to make sure that it looks about appropriate so that they, the uh, leg bones, and that's a good place to look, is to look at the leg bones and make sure that they are lined up. This looks fairly correct to me. And now we're going to merge the two together. Now we're going to merge uh, the base, which is this one, and we're going to merge the onesie panda into it. You may have to go back and click fix model again. I'm not sure why that is. But that should do it. So we're going to merge our armature here. Now the next thing you want to do is make sure that the eye bones are correct and everything still works. So we're going to go into pose mode. I'm going to drag it. Everything works. Okay, good. And we also want to make sure that our eye creation 
still works. Good, so our, our facials work and our visines will probably work as well. So the next step is to get rid of this extra hair. So there's quite a few easy ways to do that. What we wanna do essentially is we wanna press tab to go into edit mode on the body itself. First, we wanna click part of the hair. And then if you remember, we made sure that we left the materials alone. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna find the material that is used for the hair. That's this one here. And we're gonna hit select. That selects all the material in this model. So what we wanna do essentially is click down here to make sure that we can see through it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit mesh, show hide, sh shown selected. You can also press Alt H to do this. We also wanna do Shift H for show or for hide on selected. So as you can see here, now the only thing that we have selected is this mesh. Now I can press A and that will only make sure that the, just this mesh part is shown which is great. This is really useful for getting rid of this kind of stuff. So what we want to do is we want to keep essentially her face and nothing on the outside of it. So one of the best ways to do this is actually to unclick here to make sure that you can only see the front part of it. We press B on our keyboard to get a, to get a selection mask and we're going to press B to create just the front part of the face. Now if we rotate, you'll see it's just the front. Some of the back is selected in here as well, and we can get rid of that by holding Control and Shift and doing this. To get rid of all of it, we'll do we'll make sure that we select all layers, and again, that gets rid of that. Now we just have the hair around our face essentially, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to Select Inverse. Now we're going to press Delete on our keyboard and delete the vertices. Now what should be left behind is just the hair that you can see inside the model. So now we can go back to mesh, we can go to show hide, show hidden, and that, and we press A again, and we uncheck here and press tab to get out of edit mode. That looks pretty good. Now I missed a couple of things, and you'll notice her hair is cut off here. So as you can see, there's basically lots of ways you can select it, but this is a pretty easy way to do it. Um, I could keep the hair going through, but you'll notice most of that would have been the ponytails, as you can see here. Now what we wanna do is we wanna clear, clean up any extra bones, um, this is an additional step. It's totally optional, but you should probably do it. What you can do is you can select your armature, press tab to go into edit mode, hold control on your keyboard, and just select the armature parts you don't want. It's pretty easy. Press delete, delete bones, and that's it. So that gets rid of those bones that we don't need anymore because we just need the onesie bones, and we deleted everything else that we didn't need that was merged in. Um, I know our hair is cut a little bit funny here. So we can also get rid of a, a few other little things here. Um, it is fairly easy. So again, to get rid of this little bit and touch it up just a tiny bit, we can go into body. And again, I'm going through this really fast. Obviously you're gonna do a better job and go slow and make sure that these meshes are gone, but I'm trying to get through this as fast as possible. So again, we're gonna go into body um, and we're gonna select the mesh itself. We're gonna unselect this bit and we're gonna select just one of the hair mesh. Then we're gonna to go to select, we're gonna go to select linked, and that's just gonna select all these linked parts here. So I'm going to hold Control and Shift on my keyboard and remove the parts that I want to keep. I'm going to press Delete on my keyboard and delete those vertices. Now I can't see them. Same thing here. I'm going to click here, select Linked. And again, I, I want to keep this bit in here. So we're going to get a good angle, hold Control and Shift, draw my little box around them. So now the only thing selected is up here. Press Delete on my keyboard, delete vertices, and they're gone. So I have no more hair poking through. Oh, maybe there's one more. So I can, again, I can just hit here, select, linked. And then over here, I probably don't want this. So again, shift, shift control, remove this one, press delete on my keyboard, vertices, and there we're gone. So now we just have the hair inside the onesie. So that's it for the model. The model is pretty much finalized. I've got the hair working, I've, or I've got the hair out of the onesie and packed inside. I've got the uh, visemes and mouth working for my previous model that we made sure we did. Um, and I have a mesh. So we press tab again, and this looks fairly good. Now, most people would be happy with this, and I know I would. So again, we just want to make sure that we optimize our model. And we're going to go over to optimization. We're going to generate material list. We'll see all the materials that are here. Save our atlas. I'm going to stick it on my desktop. And finally, we're going to hit export model. And again, I'm going to throw this on my desktop. And that's it. We can now 
follow along with my other tutorial and bring this model into VRChat.